a senior from Erie, Pennsylvania, gets into it. And we're underway as Maurice French waits back and he'll take it at the nine for the Panthers. Finds a little bit of a lane over to the right side. Needs a block on the kicker. He gets it down the sideline. And will he go the distance? Yes, he will. 91 yards on the touchdown. To open your season, Mo French. The opening kickoff return of the year gets a couple good blocks and then he does it himself. Breaks a few tackles down the field and we talked with Coach Narduzzi this week and he said keep an eye on number two. He's got some wheels. Slide the tight end to the short side of the field. On a play fake, Testaverde going deep and he's got him. Grab is made. Catch is made by Gerald Reeves. It was underthrown. Pump fake right there. It gets the corner to bite and he steps up there and, and takes a hit but what a from the 25. And a little razzle-dazzle gadget play. Wide receiver gets the first down. It's Jarrah Reeves once again. Penalty. On the play fake again. Good block by E.B. Token. Middle of the field. Intercepted and going the other way. Hamlin's got it. The free safety. Hamlin makes a miss at the 40. Now he gets some blocks. Look out. Will they catch him from behind? Yes. Inside the 20. Big one up the middle. Mm. He's got a first and goal at the five. Was at Michigan State with Pat Narduzzi, and of course, he's now in the National Football League. He'll keep it. Pickett's got it. He's in. Touchdown, Pitt. Ninety-one yards and seventy-nine yards. This is a read option. You're not going to see a lot of quarterback runs, design quarterback runs from the Pitt offense. Got word over the last couple of weeks that he could play. On second and five. The spin and the run by Darren Hall. 20. It'll be second, a little more than two. Out of the timeout, they keep Hall in the backfield. He'll get the first down. And check that. The end around the they give it on the end around to French. Defensive side of the ball. Aston on the field, the fullback for the first time on a play fake. Good by Taser Mack. A sophomore from Brooklyn, about another first down. Stay in the eye and need two for the first down. A lot more than two. Olison breaking the tackle, getting a block from Mack down. So the drive started back at the pit 25, and now they're first and goal. Another end around. Is he in? Yes. Touchdown, Maurice French. But here's the deal. He's still got to play a football game. Sear goes in motion. Roll it the other way. Testaverde going deep down the middle. Single coverage. Jump ball. It's taken in. Trey Tipton's got it. For a guy who's five foot eight to go up and high point this football, this is just tremendous concentration. Look at that. Right up. And Hanks, first and goal down to the five. Stab Holmes, he's got a block on the outside. Popped out of bounds. And that is a touchdown saving tackle over on that side of the field. Third and goal from the nine. Middle of the field. Does he hang on? Yes. Touchdown. Look at this. This is a strike. Play action fake. Up until this point, they bring the extra rusher. Single on the outside, and what a grab. Bringing it down is Mack again. Tazier Mack, the sophomore transfer from Indiana. On the outside, who had pretty good coverage down the field. Look, he gets his head around. Good job. Now he got a hand fight. He's got French in motion on second and two. Deep play fake. Sees French. Now can French make a miss? Does, and gets the first down. Boy, does he have some wiggle on the outside. This play was well covered. And looking for more. This is a second down, though. This is a second and four. And a nifty move in the backfield and the spin. It is Davis. He's the make a miss guy. Six feet even, 215-pound sophomore from Lakeland. Fourth or offense. Two tight ends set. Olison cuts it back, breaks a tackle, and a first and goal to the four. He's got Darren Hall as a single. On his hip. At the freshman down here at the bottom. 
Looking into the corner, Faye into the corner of the end zone. Grab is made. Yes. Touchdown. It is Arusha Lopes. Here's a little wheel route. Corner right to the back of the end zone. And look at the concentration. He knows where he's at. It's that right foot down. Ooh. Right before he goes out of bounds. I think that that could be looked at again. Yes. He bobbled. But Does he possess it? From that angle, it's hard to tell. Side into the secondary. E.B. Token hangs. He's got into the midfield stripe. And he's got more than enough of the first down into Panther territory. Down to the 43. Boy, they washed out that left side. Breaks through the line. Good block. And then he cuts inside and just absolutely runs through a couple of tackles. And then gives a nasty stiff arm. It's like the guy that rushed two years ago for 1,400 yards. Yeah, absolutely. All CAA. Testaverde and his receiver hits the deck. And that is Deb Holmes. There's contact. Now is it going to be? It knocked out of field goal range. Back off on the blitz. There's going to be a hold. And that takes him out of field goal range. As the ball falls incomplete. I need to climb this. 10 for 10, 76 yards. Man on third down, needs only five, and that is a bullet. It's a catch. He lost it out of bounds, but the catch is made. At Clareton High School in Pennsylvania threw 30 touchdown passes. They give it on the jet. Man, over to the left side, it's Arujo Lopes. He's got a first down. He scrambles across the 30. So they're perfect, as you can see on their possessions. Now the toss. Good move, A.J. Davis. Another first down, gain of 11. From California here and there, just to try and advance your roster. Ton of time. Look at the wheels. And now he can run. He'll get out of bounds with a first down on second and short. I mean, Bucks in a year probably between getting that job. Now going deep, Got wide open, Arusho Lopes. Single coverage, Kareem Brown. or what I'm not talking about the throw because the ball is under throw Rujo Lopes has to come back for it but look at this he's got 22 Kareem Brown in space and just gives him a two-way go sticks the foot inside and just bursts to the end zone like 22 you got to make a tackle you got to go make a play right now instead of Rujo Lopes they've in fact had five and a number of times six guys on the comeback get to the sideline he will and it's complete to Jerry Reese for a first down. Got a flag, the final snap. And that'll do it. Need 10 for the first down. Extending the pocket. Testaverde. He'll be short of the first down on the reception. Taking it over the far side. It's complete to Reeves. It'll be first and 10. At the 33. He knew he was going to get hit. Jump ball. Intercepted. Picked off in the end zone. Man coming up with a big play. It's Mathis, the corner on that side. The sophomore from Lakeland, Florida. And Damari Mathis up here, top of your screen, number 16, is going to get his head turned around. Football in perfect position. Point seven yards per catch in 16. They averaged 15 yards per catch with Nathan Peterman. That was the offense that scored over 40 a game. There's a big run. Darren Hall. Well, can they get one more stop on third down? Has to bring it back down. Pick it. Hardly loses the football. And it looks like Albany should be able to cover it. But you're risking your career, your body. The coach is going to go nuts on the sidelines. Tell him, Kenny, get down. Pressure comes late. Man the ball behind Gerald Reeves, the intended target. They've got Notre Dame at Notre Dame this year. Penn State at home next week. Olison, big carry, weaving his way. He's big guy to begin with. Shifts the running back and gives him on a counter. And Olison into the secondary for another 12, 13 yards. At this point, I'd be surprised if we see Kenny Pickett put it in the air again. And you can actually... I think strategically use that in a, in a way where you can you've got a good young player. AJ Davis gets it to flat. See ya. First down. 
but well, and back to your yeah. point, you can save if you yeah. think a guy can help you down the road. You can save that for the end of the year, can't you? 35 once again of Albany. Give it on the jet. Man, at the secondary with the first down, the wide receiver in his first touch of the game, actually a second. Second, make it 11. And up for grabs. Same team. Sussman battling his own teammate for it. Either way, it's going to be a pick and a turnover. That's Nevin Sussman, the outside backer from Sandy Spring, Maryland. Tell who it was. I think it may have been 93. It was. Antoine White. Big old defensive tackle. There's 93. It's his paw up in the air. Not sure who comes up with the pick. I think, yeah, Sussman ends up with the ball. He's fighting over it with took all last year off to get himself back to being 100%. And boy, does he ever look like he's 100%. Trying to throw the screen, but that was snuffed out. So they've got some difficult matchups. I don't know what's going on at right tackle, because that's your third right tackle you've seen in this game. Now Pickett can run for it, and let's see if he does. Yes, he listens <laughs> guess, to the coach. Guess what he does? He slides, and uh, yeah, maybe another casualty to the Heat. Ankle or cramp? Let's see, because he went right back down. That's a, that's a cramp. Yeah, yeah. Right back to, at the right, calf right, right away. To that calf, and as someone who's experienced. Uh, Many cramps throughout my playing career. It's one of the worst things to have to deal with. Alone going to a, a college that plays a pro style. On first down. That's one of the few times there's big, big chunks of yardage lost in the ground game. That was A.J. Davis because of the deep penetration of the backfield. Third and 16. Will let Kenny Pickett put in the air? I guess so. Underneath dropped. By Aaron Matthews, a junior wide receiver out of Clareton, Pennsylvania. Now they're two of eight on their third downs. This is a third and short for Testaverde. And a bullet this time to Holmes, and he holds on. Should it at the very top of the telecast for this staff. Those Pittsburgh connections. Now a deep throw as Holmes hits the deck. It's intercepted, picked off, but at the same time, a flag is. Garner comes up with a sophomore from Pittsburgh, Bryson Garner. Yield the victory for the Panthers against Youngstown State last year. Now the heat, and Testaverde is down. Brought the extra rusher, and it paid off once again. Defensive front can be pretty nasty this year between Watts, Hendricks, Roy, Camp. And that was just a four-man pressure. And now he's looking to third down, and almost 20. In the flat, nothing doing. It's Mo for. So a punting situation coming up for the Great Danes once again. It's the Hurricanes, and now he's playing his his most extensive action of the year against Albany. That was tipped at the line. Yeah. Well, they're gonna have to punt. Give it to Albany. Bad the 16. Good night. Off the edge. Nice play. Coming up with it, Rashad Wheeler. He's been on film, and he'll show up a lot today. You might want to block somebody, 73. That's Micah Royster. It's out of seven to play. Moving the pocket by design. Well, you said it. And over the linebacker, the depth. <laughs> I can't believe they converted this third and 18. Look at this, on the move. He finds his receiver, Holmes. Over, look at that, over the linebacker's head, or excuse me, safety said Dennis Briggs, number 20. Bottom line, we want a healthy second half. It's complete. Short game goes to McDonald. Talk about going on the road into Heinz Field, your first action, live action since 2014. He's already put up know, 214 yards of passing. So it's great to be home, but it's also nice when you're closer on the scoreboard. Going deep. Home, Scott. Down to the 20. Good start. To the season for the true freshman from Troy, New York, Deb Holmes playing late in this game really hard. So, why didn't we make our way to Troy, New York and take a look at this kid? Because, I mean, he's made every catch today. Is Deb Holmes. That would be your mindset. I, I said at halftime, you got to find a way to get something going positive in the second half. Holmes taking a shot. Look out. And he's down. 
That'll do it. So, another great play by Keyshawn Camp. Can he pick it at quarterback? Tight ends available, and he's got it. So, first down, now they can run out the clock. It's Jim Medor. One more for Davis, and that'll do it. Got out of here healthy. That's the key. Both sides got out of here in good shape. And we didn't have a point, believe it or not. That's really bizarre in the second half.